Hi, I'm Andrew Martin. I'm the group publisher at Asia Online Publishing, and we are here with uh, Andrew Ong from Cyberint at uh, Cybersecurity Expo at Cloud Expo Singapore 2019. Um, really uh, pleased that you could join us uh, because I think the stuff that you do at Cyberin is really fascinating actually. So, um, so before we get into that, maybe it's a little bit of a clue as to what's to come in terms of what you do, but actually what I'd like to start, because I know it's relevant to your product and your technology, could you explain to us what is the dark or the deep web? Right. Uh, so basically the dark and the deep web are, are places you know, that is kind of like connected to the internet uh, where the bad guys usually will be hanging out. Uh, place like you know marketplaces, forums that is probably only known to these threat actors. Uh, so they will create like anonymous ID virtual avatars where they will talk to each other and then trade informations and secrets uh, that may be relevant and important to you know the average people like us, like credit card details. Uh, there are there are horrendous stuff that happens out there like uh, human trafficking, guns, drugs as well. But uh, it entirely depends on what the customers are looking for, and definitely, you know, cyber in, what we do is cyber intelligence, and we're here to help customers to understand their use cases, and then provide these data points to them where we can actually help them. Okay, uh, interesting. Sounds very murky, <laughs> but for the average uh, company out there, why really does this matter to them? Isn't this all to do with the criminal underworld? Is it really relevant to your typical corporation or government department? Right. Uh, so you know, if I could probably just to share like two specific use cases that we've been we've been doing uh, some of the services for customers here, like uh, in a client that is, that we met in Taiwan uh, in the insurance, mm -hmm. uh, in one of the engagement we actually helped them to detect that one of the their agents actually leaked out a patient record of one of their customers, wow. right? Uh, for example, you know the document that we found, we understand which stage of cancer she is suffering from. Uh, you know, and, and certain uh, medical conditions that will be very sensitive to the individual. Uh, but this data can actually be found out there if you have the right tools and you know where to look, uh, you can actually get access to the data. And what it meant then, you know, as a consumer, why is my data out there first? And second, uh, in terms of the regulators, uh, is the organization doing enough uh, to protect the sensitive data of the individual? Mm. I mean, who would want to have their health records being published out there, yeah. right? Uh, in the second use case, uh, we are helping some of the banks and finance companies uh, to then look for things like credit card leaks, mm -hmm. right? Uh, there are so many forms of different credit card scheming services out there that today, uh, if your credit card is leaked, uh, if the bad guys take a swipe, assuming it's a 5,000 or 10,000 US dollars, mm -hmm. right? Uh, who will be paying for those bills? Uh, would it be the individual that the card got swiped? Would it be the merchant that processed that transaction? Or is it the bank? Uh, in, in this use case, then the challenge would be reputation, financial losses, and trust with the whole ecosystem of providing this whole finance you know, transaction. Yeah. Uh, so these are some of the use cases that we are helping clients on a day-to-day -day basis to potentially help them look for this information so that they can be safer and better. Mm, understand. So I get that. So I do understand that yeah, it, it could affect any kind of company. In terms of the customer that you're looking for, is this just for the really big guys or do you help even small businesses and should small businesses be worried about this too or is it really something that's more for the large corporations? Uh, so in terms of the clients that we are helping, uh, it really depends on today what matters to them. Mm. Right? It's, it's not really about the size of the organization, it's about the value that they bring to the client as well. Mm -hmm. For example, they could be like a 30-man outfit, but they are a startup in maybe the fintech, mm -hmm. right? They are drawing in a lot of investment and they are concerned whether they are you know, having any data leakages. And potentially, they could be the target of a merger and acquisition, uh, where then the acquisition party will be interested to find out whether there are any leaked documents or insider trading as well. Uh, so this service or you know what we're offering today doesn't restrict the size of the organization or the industry yeah interesting stuff so um, listen really appreciate your time today it's fascinating stuff I think we're gonna be in touch to ask you a lot more because I think this is an area that probably needs a lot more coverage and education across uh, security professionals and risk managers and people like that so definitely interested to find out more but uh, for now thank you very much and uh, enjoy the rest of your time at the show All right thank you thanks a lot Andrew cool.